was in LA um, uh, uh, on the day and uh, <laughs> the phone kept ringing, you know, nine o'clock uh, Eastern time, it was like six o'clock. And uh, after about the fifth or sixth call, my wife and I just looked at each other and said, Something, somebody died, you know, somebody died. And so the next time it rang, I uh, picked it up and we got the news and, and to, to go turn on the television and, and, and we did. And, and then just a, a pall fell over the day, you know, it was like, I'm from New York and I had never really been kind of what you call like uh, chauvinistic about New York. Like I, I didn't like to talk about New York exceptionalism or anything like that. You know, I love the city. I love growing up here. I, I wouldn't have traded it for anything. But I wasn't one of those people that thought New York conferred something upon you just because it was New York, you know, like you had to be yourself. You had to. But on that day, it was like the world was uh, a New Yorker. And um, on that day, I felt I felt for the first time that it was my my hometown, you know, uh, New York. It is my hometown. But I, I, as I said, I never was prideful about it. And I just felt like. I had been, uh, we had been attacked, you know, you know, literally, obviously we had been. And it just felt like such a, you know, that everybody felt just so raw. And um, I remember just going to like Starbucks that day and running into a couple of friends and everybody just kind of sitting and talking and just numb. And, uh, and that was it, you know, it felt, felt far away, felt a world away because couldn't get to New York, you know, and that was a that was a flight that I took so many times, New York, LA, and um, you know, then nine months later, our our, our son was born, <laughs> and we <laughs> almost nine months to the day, actually, uh, nine months less a week, and uh, we we always said, uh, Taya, Leone, my my ex wife, uh, we always said that that uh, Miller kid Miller was a was a nine eleven baby. And it was that it was that kind of a feeling where after after you went through that initial kind of numbness and shock, you just tried to pull people close, you know. And I got a kid out of it. <laughs> a, kid named, a kid named Kid. Have you told your child <laughs> the story? Yeah, uh, not in so many words, but but uh, he. I think he. I'm pretty sure he knows he's a what, what you call a 9/11 baby. Have you had many 9/11 baby stories on on this? No. <laughs> you first are nine... the first. You are the first, David Duchovny. Really? But have you have you actually researched um, like uh, um, you know births nine months after 9/11 to see if there was a, a spike? I believe there was, but that's a good point. I will have to yeah. Google and research that. By the way, after that, were you paranoid about making that cross-country flight again? Yeah, yeah, so paranoid. And and not so much for myself because I've always felt like past the age of 40, I always felt like, you know, I've had a good run. I've had a good life. If my plane goes down, well, you know, I'll be bummed out, but I'll be bummed out on the way down, but, you know, I can't complain, but when I had kids and and as and when I fly when I flew with them, now that they're adults, I have less anxiety. But when they were young, um, I would have anxiety about flying with them. And then um, after 9/11, I just did not I just not want did not want to put them on a plane. And I'm not sure that we did. I think we stayed put for maybe a year. I, I could be making that up, but I don't think we got on a plane for a while. And um, Maybe I did, but I, I wouldn't put my kids on a plane, you know, for, for a little while. How old were your other children then? I, just, I had a, a three-year-old daughter, three-and-a-half-year-old daughter. Um, and I, you know, you know, it's not like you're just putting them on planes all the time anyway. But I, I, I really, for some reason, I just had such anxiety about flying with them. You know, because cause as a father, you know, that's your, your job is it's an impossible job, but you're supposed to protect your children. And when you put them on a plane, you can't do that. You know, you're giving up, you're just giving that up, you know, to the fates or to the pilot or whatever, the weather or whatever, you know. Is there anything else you'd like to add? <laughs> um, no, you know, I, I, I just, 
it's interesting to me that there's not a lot of fiction or, or movies about 9-11. You know, it's like a subject, it's almost like a sacred thing that people don't want to fictionalize. And I'm, I don't think it's too soon. I mean, it's already 20 years ago, right? Almost. There was and, Flight 93. And yeah. even though, even though, of course, we knew how it ended or what was going yeah. down, I was gripping my seat. And I thought, this movie should win the Oscar. If <laughs> something is making me physically grip my seat, even though I know where this is heading, that's a great movie. Yeah, no, um, I believe that was Paul Greenglass, great filmmaker. Yeah. Did it. yeah. Um, and then there was a novel, Incredibly Loud and Very Close or something. Um, and they did a movie of that. And it was kind of about a kid whose father was in the towers. And there was another movie, and I actually talked to one of the NYPDers who yeah. was involved in the actual incident. It was about saving two people who were crushed by the rub rubble uh, and, and trapped. Oh, really? That's yeah. interesting. He, he, he overheard them speaking, you mean? No, no, no. They, they ultimately went down oh. to, to, and, and did rescue them. Yeah. 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 Right. It was an, an I mean, so many incredible stories. All right. Thank um, you so much. Unless you want to add else? anything else. I think I'm good. I wish, I wish it was more dramatic, but, it's, but my story has a happy ending. Your, yeah, <laughs> your story has a fantastic ending. Uh, it's, right. Yeah, it's actually going to make people smile instead of cry. So right. thank you, thank you. Stay safe and well.